Welcome back to All the Crackers in the Box. It's late. It's middle of the night. I'm thinking about stopping what I was doing. I was really on a big roll, so I kind of... I don't know if I want to. I'm getting into it. I'm so glad you're here. Hi. Okay, let's talk about things. Okay, so this morning, after we were done talking, I worked a little more on my sweater. This one's going to be for me. Look how good it fits me already. I'm going to look really hot in this one. It's going to be so fashion. So, for the rest of the day, though, that's kind of a last day of the weekend kind of day. So I gave baths to both my girls, cleaned up after yesterday's feast, day before. And yeah, puttered around the house, mostly in my pajamas, which I'm still wearing. So, you know, sometimes you just live the pajama life and you just love the pajama life. My pajama life is super comfortable. It's a giant moo. It has pockets. Pockets. My husband thinks I'm insane whenever I come show off all my pockets on my favorite album. I have pockets. So some of you may remember my granny swears. These are going to become jack-o'-lanterns. Now these have been kicking my tushy. I've done these two way too tight is what I've come to the conclusion of. Because I have done all these a lot looser. I have what now? Those two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, then twelve, thirteen. So that's thirteen, and I need thirty-two. That's sixteen a bag. So sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I need nineteen more, and then I can move on to figuring out the ghosts. Gonna do it. It's gonna happen before Halloween gets here. So I'm excited about that. So, those are my good news. I did want to touch on a subject, but I also don't want to touch on it because I am absolutely astounded. I just realized, looking there, that gem's falling on me. Anyway, um, for those of us who enjoy Hobie Bingo, it was on this morning, and it was hosted by Matthias, Matt. All by himself. Lovely young Dutch fellow. I think he's like 27. So, I mean, he's not a child. But at the same time, he's a young man. Seems kind of a little bit on the more innocent side. Which is fine. He seems also like he really is having a lot of fun with his job. He's the computer tech. He makes sure that all their online stuff works so you're seeing all the things come across he's pressing the buttons he's making sure there's no problems and when he's not there there's always a problem <laughs> so because their main host Gia is pregnant and she's taking time off she's starting to step back a little bit being that she's gonna have to go on maternity leave understandable awesome let the boy shine maybe he could do a great job their other bingo host here in North America uh, that switches off with Gia is a guy I guess he's like the head guy for packing the yarn. So, you know, double duty. Awesome. Love to see that in a company. Use what your talents, because they have these great personalities of talking on camera and interacting with the audience. Okay. So that being said, Matt is great. He's always laughing. He's always keeping it running. He keeps the yarn host on track to keep up on time. He's really, really good. Nice young fella. And there are a lot of inappropriate comments being made about this young fellow in the chats. I've 
pointed it out to my 17 year old because he's a very good looking young man and I've already had a few incidences where I've had older ladies say some stuff to him that made him extremely uncomfortable so we've talked about ways of ta dealing with it um if it gets to this point should he or should he not report it to his boss uh, how to avoid these kind of conversations if they're making him uncomfortable and what to say so it's not just girls and I hate to say that I really do I really hate saying that males or females get these kind of harassments but Matt was on his own today. I dozed through parts of it. I didn't have my glasses on when I was looking over, but I saw enough to see that he looked uncomfortable quite a few times reading the screen as all these chats are coming through. And I see a bit of them. And there was lots of big capital. And I caught a couple words and I'm not going to repeat them because, oh my gosh, I can't imagine someone talking to my son like that. I just cannot there was, a, apparently from what I saw on Facebook, because um, a few people have brought this up, they're very upset about this, and I am too, on his behalf. This was not okay. This was, this was, um, it's been on my mind all day. I've been very, very unhappy about it. I knew this was going to happen when I saw it. At one point, like, one part of me was super excited that he's getting the opportunity to do a little more. He's always excited about the yarn. He's been learning about it and trying to ask questions and stuff like that. And just trying to make the experience really fun. And then one person apparently made a comment about something daddy. I didn't quite catch what it was. It just somebody else was saying that that would absolutely floor them. That someone would feel the bravery to say that, whether it's your initials or not. And I... I really am thinking, it's disgusting. I am so ashamed. I am so ashamed, and I apologize. I don't Matt probably will never, ever know how bad I feel for him. I really hope that they shut down the chat. I don't want to lose the bingo, but at the same time, the amount of people who assume that it's a scam and say all the stuff that is a scam, it's not a scam. It's not. I won. I won. Okay? I'm a person. I won. I live in Canada. I don't live in Europe or next door to Hobie. Nothing like that. I don't know anybody that works there. I'm a random person that was like, hey, this seems kind of fun. I'm going to try it out. Tried it out for a little bit and all of a sudden, I won. I was not expecting to even win. I wasn't even really paying attention. My phone started vibrating. I was like, why is it vibrating? And I realized I only have one number left. I won. That's amazing. So, to all the people that are saying they're not winning, there's 10,000 people on average in that game. <laughs> not everyone's going to win. I'm sorry. It's like the lottery. Are you, did you win the lottery when you used it? Like, I, I, I'm just not understanding. It is a free game. They give you a prize with no purchase needed. All you have to do is show up you don't even have to press the numbers they do it for you and just the ungrateful entitlement is just so sad i expected better out of people who enjoy yarn i really really have expected better and i am so sorry that if this has just made my day feel really gross really gross um joking with your friends is one thing i've made inappropriate jokes with friends but i knew they were friends they knew that there was nothing serious behind it it was just teasing or you're not friends with this gentleman you don't know him he's doing his job and you're saying like a lot of people on facebook have been saying like what if it, the genders have been re reversed? Everyone would be up in arms right away. But it's okay for a woman to talk to a man that way. It doesn't matter how a man has talked to you in the past. You don't pick out somebody who has never, ever, ever, ever even seen you in his life. You don't get to do that. Do better. Do better. So that's probably why I got through so many of my pumpkins today. I've just been working through... 
my feelings on it instead of eating something because I, yeah, I like to eat stuff sometimes when I don't feel too happy. Um, it's just not okay. It really isn't. This is yarn. This is crochet. This is knitting. This is old lady hat hobbies. If you want to see something like that, there are websites for you. You could go to a live show. You could go on dating apps. You could do many, many things. There are guys on Instagram that would love it if ladies started saying that to them. From what I understand, I'm not on Instagram, so sorry if I'm just assuming. But you see what I'm saying now? There's a time and a place, and this is not the time or the place. This young man is not <laughs> comfortable. And... I'd hate to see him lose an opportunity of something he was getting excited of trying because people because people are awful and say the most disgusting things. I've I've seen it a thousand times where people just become afraid because of other people saying these gross things. They're not mean, but they are super uncomfortable. They make you feel dirty and make you feel less. And that's really the problem here. He's not an object. He's a person. And that somewhere got lost in translation. And some people really did not show any respect. I don't even... Some people are saying the people that were doing these kind of things should probably be banned. And I'm kind of feeling that too. I think they should be able to ban people that talk this way that say these swear words, that disrespect the whole thing, um, the ones accusing of cheating, the ones saying that Hobie's ripping them off and stuff, I don't think there should be, that should not be okay. That just ends up causing a lot of people to get really upset and distracts from joining like-minded people, right? Oh, speaking, totally going to, segue out of that because I need to let it go for right now. I, I do want to sleep tonight, so my heart is with you, young man. You did an amazing job. Thank you so much for making it through, even with all of the horrible stuff. I am so sorry that you were subjected to that. Okay. So, I am going to do my best to make it to the knitting club at the library this week. It's this week. And I will hopefully be able to do it. It's between 6.30 and 7.30, which is a little bit late. My kids like to go to bed pretty early, especially the littlest one. But I'm going to make an effort. I want to see it. I want to check it out. I want to see. It's one hour. One hour out of the month. I would just like to see what it's about. And it covers every, all needle crafts. It's not just knitting. It's crochet, it's knitting, and it is also like needlework. So that made it even more attractive because I'm just like, whoa, I like all of that. Let's, let's, let's get together, ladies and gentlemen. I have no problem with men being there, too. It's fine. Like, seriously, if you love yarn and you love to make something out of yarn, that is absolutely A-OK -okay with me. So, if I go, I'm going to say a big if, because, yeah, tonight was not an easy bedtime for my eldest. Um, she goes back to school after a four-day weekend, so she was not having a good time. Just one moment, my foot's asleep. Sorry, just had to readjust. Uh, I've got some problems with my nerves at the top of my legs and my hips from carrying the weight of babies and probably the weight of myself. I don't weigh too, too much, but it's more than I've ever weighed before, so it's I get a lot of numbness in my legs. I do a lot of yoga stretching throughout the day, and I'm going to get up after this and probably do a few more stretches. Sometimes I stretch while I crochet, so that is a little bit of a slow down time. That's okay, as long as I'm not just like sitting in one spot. Oh my goodness. 
Well, that just happened. We got a giant knot here. That's fine. I can deal with that. I'm getting excited about the weather changing. Oh, it's the evening. Craziest thing here. So, we're in my room. It's well after 7. Well, one child asleep and the other one is being a little bit... Eh, I'm just going to say eh, that's my word. She really, really tries her best to draw it out as long as possible. Which is just the way it is with her. Anyways, all of a sudden, we see this flash of light and a peal of thunder that was at least 14 seconds long and my whole house was shaking. It was insane. My daughter was up like a shot out of her bed and jumping onto my lap because it scared her so bad. And she's actually not afraid of thunder. It was just that unexpected and loud. It was a really quick storm. There was like four, maybe five bouts of lightning and two or three smaller bits of thunder. But it has been pretty reasonable for weather. So I have a feeling this week, going into this week, it's going to get chilly. I've got fuzzy socks ready to go. I've got some cardigans out, this gorgeous number here, long to mid thigh, button, no buttons, but pockets, big enough for my phone. So I'm hopefully going to finish off my story so I can return that to the library, maybe read a couple things that I collected off Amazon recently on my Kindle, because reading is important, keeps your mind young and fresh. A lot of things you can do to keep your mind young and fresh. I find crafting really helps focus my mind. I had a car accident when I was 18 and I hit my head and my memory. My memory is very, very spotty at times. So I try really hard to do things that make me have to concentrate hard. And it's really helping my focus not wander and not forget. And doing little exercises for my short-term memory because I can forget things pretty easily, unfortunately. Like my mom will say, I need to use your phone tomorrow, and I have to look at her right in the eye, and I'm like, okay, well, you can use it. I'm not going to remember you asked, okay? So you're just going to have to come to me later, and my mom doesn't really need a cell phone right now. She doesn't really have too many people to call. She calls a doctor once in a while to make appointments. No one wants to call her. They usually call her on Facebook Messenger. So she just sticks to that right now to save herself a few dollars. But I mean, like, there are affordable ways to have a cell phone. I have a full cell phone plan. I don't have data. I don't want data. I don't want to pay for that. Um, my phone is pays to go, and it's about 15 bucks a month. I've had the same number since 2013. When I say that I like to hang on to things, I mean I actually do like to hang on to things. I have transferred this phone between seven, or sorry, phone number between seven phones. I had a big list of them. I was looking at it the other day. I was just curious how long I'd had this one for. So this number has been mine for about 10 years. So people can find me. They really can. That's fine. If they had, were blessed enough to get a copy of my phone number, then it's okay. If they get a hold of me at some point, I probably will ignore it because of how many scams I get. Oh, boy. So my latest scam in my email has been that my phone is going to lock up on me and all my, all my stuff is going to disappear um, because my device has a... Um, virus I never check my emails or anything on my phone my phone's not connected to that email so cool that's a good time it's always something oh and then today 
I got that Google one, right? That's telling me I needed to click this link to get them to check all my files. I'm like, okay, <laughs> doing that. And um, the one right after it is Canadian Tire sees how hard you're working. I haven't shopped a Canadian Tire in like 12, 14 years. They don't have my info, and if they do, they have no reason to get a hold of me. I The email for the Google one. And the Canadian Tire one were the same. The Google and Canadian Tire are using the same email to get me to click on things to win prizes or get rid of a. <sighs> I always feel like I'm always on guard, especially when I go check my emails. I always feel like I have to be so careful. And then I've got a parcel that's missing. So I'm probably going to get... Um, a couple notifications that they need my full address, but to companies that don't even exist or look like it's photocopied, I don't click the link. If it gives you a number to check, go to the, like it says UPS, and this is your tracking number. Copy the tracking number, go directly to UPS, put in the tracking number. If it's a legit tracking number, it'll all go through. If it's not, it won't go through and you'll know like right away it'll have a name and all that kind of stuff like some sort of way for you to tell whether or not it's you you can report that you're getting them but there's not a lot they can do and all i ever do is like in my hotmail i left click the three dots on the top of my email not the upper one but the one on the bottom of the email and i just go to report pishing pishing because they want you to click on this link and you're going to give them your information just so tired of the scams <laughs> it would be nice to win a prize but i don't believe them walmart apparently is giving me card after card and i have an account with walmart but i don't feel that the email matches a walmart email so i just kind of skim right by there we go and I'm going to get this one done. I'm still kind of on the fence with this yarn. I feel like these oranges behind me are softer. This one here especially is a, is it again? It's the brunette. Yeah, it's a brunette basics. And the Karen Simply Softs are super soft. But I am one of those people that find that it is very splitty. But, for example, this lime so gorgeous i want a bunch more i want this and i gotta figure out something to go with that i really want to use that and i don't know what i want to use it for because i only have the one and i know it's not a full a full thing but i really like the colors i'd like to match up that yellow and those blues are pretty as can be as i've mentioned before i'm a big fan of blue oh my goodness 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 so the crochet's helping me feel a little better. And yeah. Back to the regular school grind tomorrow morning. Gotta get up early. Gotta get people dressed. I got all the clothes all cleaned up. Lunch box is ready to go. What are you gonna do, right? I'm pretty sure my son has the day off, so I'm gonna work on some of his stuff. We're just gonna have a lovely day, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you're not somebody that said these awful things to this young fellow. And if you are, I hope you rethink things. You're creating an environment like that for a person, whether at their job is highly uncomfortable highly 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 inappropriate it's not okay and it's not because i'm a prude or anything like that he's an adorable young man i can see why people find him attractive too young for me but even if he wasn't too young for me i definitely would not be trying to get his attention by catcalling him while he's doing his job that just seems a little bit much 
I mean, what exactly is going to happen out of this situation? He's going to be like, oh, what you just said there was great. Give me a call. I'm, I'm flying out to meet you. He lives in another country far away. So, yeah. Cool. Not. Anyways, I'm getting a little upset again. Sorry, I just, I, I, I've been friends with younger people before, um, a couple of my jobs have been supervisors to teenagers, and I've seen this kind of harassment, and I've had to put my foot down. Um, yeah. I borderlined it a little bit once. But the young guy and I were really good friends, and it wasn't anything like this. It wasn't like that. We gave him the name Bubbles for his act. That was it. We called him Bubbles because the poor guy was so... <sighs> he was an adorable young fellow and did not... Was not ready to admit who he was. A little bit of encouragement, jokings, and... Letting him know that it's okay to make a mistake and that kind of stuff. Actually helped him. He thanked me later. Because he knew it wasn't anything... I wasn't doing anything like, hey meet me at, out back and that kind of stuff. No, this was just more more like how I tease my son about girls. Same thing. Where it's just like, I'll get her number for you if you like. You're an adorable little thing. Should be lucky to know you were looking at her. I mean, just teasing. That is a totally different thing. But these comments apparently were just very graphic. Very graphic. And there's a big difference. If you're trying to help a young fellow come out of this shell, cool. Trying to help a young girl feel pretty, let her know that some boy her age, not a pervert old guy, but some boy her age is actually looking at her and thinking she's beautiful with a smile on his face and watching her while she's at work, that's totally fine too. That's all I ever did. And fun nicknames. Um... Yeah, so, I'm getting totally upset here. I just think it's just terrible, because these are somebody's young kid children. They're still kids. And, like, I had my first child by the time I was Matt's age, but I still do not feel that this was an appropriate, appropriate thing at all. Hmm, five dollars from Timu. Good times. Maybe you feel a little better. Anyhow. I'm going to get going now. Timo apparently needs me to know that my, my my parcel hasn't showed up, which I'm well aware of. And, um, yes. Thanks for joining me here. Uh, all the crackers in the box. I hope you have a great day. I hope your crafting goes wonderful. I hope you have happy thoughts. See you soon.